Hello, so today we're going to be looking at the Waikako Pipple Mocha. Now, in full disclosure, Waikako did send this to me and asked me to bring it here to Team or Let's Stay with me and give it a try and let you guys know what I thought. Now, here in the capital of Team or Let's Stay in Dili, we're in lockdown at the moment, so I can't get out on a hike and take this with me. So instead, I'm going to do a bit of a hike around the house, take the Waikako Pipple Mocha, and give it a shot that way. Okay, so. How do you use the uh, Waikako Pippa Mocha? Take the lid off, take out all the parts inside, and then here is your coffee basket. You've got the little filter that snaps off nice and easily. The funnel to make it nice and clean and tidy to put your coffee in. Now, the coffee I'm using here is uh, Cafe Tokodere from Timor Leste, so it's nice and local from Likisa, and it's organic and tastes amazing. Look how good that looks. Don't make a mess. Okay, we'll just give that a tap. Get the coffee nice and even. We put the filter back on top. Fill up the thermos with the hot water. And we're gonna fill that to the marker that says one cup. It's steaming up nicely. There we go, so you can just see the marker. It says one cup, three quarters, half a quarter. The lid back on, I'm going to carry this separately as I don't want this steeping the whole time that I'm hiking. Hot water is in here, the coffee's in here, this is all going to go into my bag and then when I'm ready to drink the coffee I'll drop this into the water and then extract. Okay, try and hit 3k. I've been going maybe 25 minutes now I think. We're probably at the 1.5k mark. Walking around the house, this is kind of like the quickest house tour ever as well, if you enjoy. So you've got the front room here, lots of photos up, some ties. Okay, so I've been walking for about an hour, three and a half, four K I think in that time. So now I'm going to extract. So then carefully drop the coffee basket in without splashing hot water on yourself and just let that bubble away. This will take between 30 seconds and a minute to drop and you see it's still bubbling there. Just give it a tap. Okay, and then the lid back on. So now I'm going to extract. So to do that, you take this orange piece and you turn it clockwise and you keep going. until it's fully extracted. Now this actually does take a little while and uh, can be somewhat tiring on the hands also and arms. It comes loose and you can take this piece out. And if you're out on a hike, this is great because you can drink straight from this piece. That still feels very hot, so that's an hour ago that I poured that. Um, I would still need to let that cool down a little bit for me. Um, but yeah, that's a good sign. And it tastes good. Okay, so the pros and cons of the Waikako Pipple Mocha. I really like how it looks and feels. It's got a mix of different materials. Yeah, nicely designed with these grooves so you can get good purchase, good grip on it. It's got all these nice details. I also really like as well that you get enough coffee from this to share between two people. $45, $46 when I looked on Amazon, which I think is good value for money. It feels very solid, like I said, the materials feel very sturdy, plastic, feeling very solid. It feels like it would last very well. Now, in terms of the cons, I'm not such a big fan of the extraction process. I think it, it's very clever how it's done, but it is a little bit laborious, I find, and it takes a little bit of time. What I would also like to see is that when you get to the full extraction point and this piece is gonna come loose, but there was maybe like a marker on here so that you know this piece is gonna pop off and it just saves that kind of surprise. So in summary, would I purchase the Waikako Pippa Mocha myself? I have no issues paying $45 for it. Like I say, Waikako did provide this one for me and asked me to bring it here and uh, check it out for you guys. If you're into black coffee and you enjoy hiking, you enjoy the outdoors, 
this could be a good investment for you. Will I use the uh, Waikako Pipplemocker as often as I do the Nano Presso? I guess time will tell. Um, I definitely want to take it outside, use it on a few trips and uh, yeah, try it out a bit more, but I'll let you know for sure. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, it really helps. And also hit subscribe to see my future videos. I hope you enjoyed it guys and uh, we'll speak soon. Cheers.